Hi everybody, Jackie here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a Dollar Tree haul. I found a few things that were new to me. Not new to everybody else, but my store gets stuff very, very slowly if it gets it at all. So what I got, well, some of it is new to me. And some of it is just, you know, regular mundane things that I try to get all the time. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload future videos. And this is in no particular order. I just got it all piled out on my desk. Some soap pads, like an SOS or a Brillo, just the dollar store brand, but they'll do what I need them to do. I found one new candle. So I got two of them because I always get one for me and one for my sister. And it's the old Williamsburg Guava Coconut. And it's a real pretty pink. It's in the uh, little mason jars. And it's a one wicker. That smells so good. That smells so good. Okay, let's continue on. Uh, they had the, the Spa Naturals bath bombs, and they, my store had the two that I've seen, the coconut and the strawberry. I just didn't care for the strawberry. Of course, I don't ever use these. I give them to everybody else. But as you can see, it's a much bigger bath bomb than usually what you get. So I got that. I had to pick up this little sign to hang on our front porch. I mean, it's just it's just too cute, and it's got the glitter. So, of course, you know, you're going to spray it with a hairspray to stop the glitter fallout. And it's Oh Sweet Summer. And it looks like a watermelon, or it looks like maybe pink lemonade. That's what it is, pink lemonade. But I thought that was so cute. That's going to look so adorable on the front porch. I picked up two of the Gain dryer sheets. And while there's only 15 for a dollar, we don't use these very much. My sister uses these on her son's work clothes because re regular fabric softener just doesn't really seem to cut it. So she just throws a couple of these in there and it helps to make his work clothes smell better. Now, I found three mascaras and they're the Sinful Colors. And I I don't see that it says an actual color, so I'm a hoping the color of the background is what it is. I got this one, which is a, like a purpley. This one, which is kind of a teal green, more on the green side than the teal. And then this one looks kind of like reddish, so I can't wait to try these. Now, I could not find the... Uh, I believe it was LA Colors that put out the uh, eyeliners in the different colors. That's what I wanted, but I couldn't find them, so I take what I can get. I picked up a little thing of the five-pack of washi. No, one, two, three, four, five, seven. And it's the pink and the gold and uh, black and uh, white, and it's just so pretty. I'm always picking up washi tape for projects. I picked up the new little shopping bags they, that they've got. The, one is an ice cream cone, and I don't know what this one's supposed to look like, but we're going to fix it to open it up. But this one looks like an ice cream cone because I've seen it and seen it opened up. The, if you remember last summer or maybe the summer before, they had all the uh, little bags like this that would tuck up inside of its own carrier, and they were like fruits and stuff. Well, there are these again. So what you do, you just open that. Pull it out. And there you go. You got a little shopping bag. Oh, it's diamonds on it. Okay. And then when you're done with it, just stuff it all back in there. Now watch me not be able to stuff this in there. And y'all think, that lady's crazy. What's she doing? Nope. There you go. And the reason I bought these, 
I never know when I'm going to the Dollar Tree. Uh, I very seldom go out of the house and say, okay, today I'm going to the Dollar Tree. It just depends where I am and what I'm doing and if I feel like running in. So I thought I'd keep these in the glove box of the vehicle. Then that way I'd have shopping bags with me all the time. And they're little, won't take up much room at all. So I, th I thought those were so cute. And you know what? I think I'll go ahead and, for anybody who hasn't seen it, I'm going to show you what the snow cone one looks, or the ice cream cone one looks like. It's pink. Get it open up good. And see, it's got, I don't know if you could tell, it's got the ice cream cones on it. I'll fold this up in a little bit. The next thing I got, um, they had, you know, some Bolero. It wasn't anything new, but I really like the Bolero uh, face cloths. And this is the co uh, the Cleansing Coconut and ro Rose Oil Facial Wipes Moisturizing. I like Bolero face wipes. They, they do a good job, a very good job. I got this, and it's like the... The bath, it's the bath soak, and it looks like kind of like a unicorn colors or mermaid colors, and it's the uh, crystals, and it's uh, 7.4 ounces, and it's not for me, it's for the nieces, great nieces. We have a big uh, jacuzzi tub in the master bathroom, and they just dearly love to get in there and stay for hours, so keeps them occupied. I picked this up for my sister. She's diabetic, so she has to watch, you know, what she snacks on. And this is the Imperial Nuts Fruit and Nut Blend. It's got raisins, golden raisins, cranberries, cashews, and almonds. It comes, it's out of Jersey City. It's called Snar Star Snacks. And it's a two, two and three quarter ounce size for a dollar. But that's just, you know, a perfect size for her. She keep it in the car, throw it in her purse, whatever. Then she gets ready for a snack. She has one. Now this, y'all are going to laugh at me. An old woman like me getting this. But I got a, bu a bubble blower. And the reason why I did it is, I, and this is going to sound so bad, but I love to tease the little, our two little uh, mini Yorkies with the bubbles. They they chase them and everything. And they have a good time. And uh, I promise you, I put it up high enough up as I'm blowing it or shooting it so that by the time it might hit to where they might be, it's dissipated so they're not getting a lot of soap or anything. They, they just love to watch them and look at them, you know, as they're falling. So that's what that's for. I know I'm a little kid. Go figure. We needed some more chip clips. Everybody here will open up a bag of chips. And then, especially when the grandkids and stuff are here, and they won't close them back. And then the next thing you know, they're stale. So I just picked up a pack of the three chip clips. You know, nothing special, just something we could use. And I bet I'm sitting on the one thing. God help me. I picked up... Four more packs of the True Lemon. Again, like I say, we're here in the South. We like our sweet tea. And we like our sweet tea with lemon in it. So this way, the lemon doesn't go bad before we get it used up. One little packet is equal to like one slice of lemon. We love these. I keep these on hand year round. It just works so well. Okay. This is something for me. When my sister sees it, she's going to freak. She don't like my hair. She can't stand it. Says I'm too old to wear that hair color. But I don't feel too old. Well, now they've got the L'Oreal Colorista Semi-Permanent Color. And this is called, get a load of this type name, Tangerine 40. But it doesn't look tangerine. It's for dark brown to light brown hair. It says it'll, uh, Come out in four to ten shampoos, so it's not permanent. But look at that color. Look at that color. 
she complains about this one. Wait till I come out with this one. And, you know, L'Oreal for a dollar, you know, is a good deal. Again, you know, this is at the Dollar Tree, and it, it does say four to ten shampoos. I've heard people say it's going to be more like on the four end than on the ten end. But, you know, something different, you know, for a special occasion or something. There you go. I just thought it was too cute. And they had all kinds of color uh products, but that's the only ones that they had for, you know, that I could use. Now, and then they had the uh, spray and stuff, like summer lightning or something like that. It's basically like, uh, oh, sun in from back in the 70s and the 80s. You'd spray it in, and they had that, but I don't need that, so I didn't get it. I got a pack of little sponge dabbers. They're three different size. These work well when I'm using decoupage on any of my art projects. So, and they're easier to wash out with a, using a paintbrush or something, you end up sometimes getting the bristles from the paintbrushes, you know, and then there you go, your project's ruined. I thought these would work better. I'm going to try them. And uh, because they're sponge, you know, they should wash out fairly easily, you know, wash the Mod Podge out. I know this is uh, kind of random. It's the popcorn bags, and there's 10 in the pack. Yes, 10. And I use these in uh, the junk journals I've started making. I've only made one so far, and I will be showing that here, you know, in a few days or the next few videos or something. But I, uh, I had bought these before, and I couldn't find them. I have so much stuff. I put it away, and then when I want it, I can't find it. And I try to keep it organized, but it just doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. I'm going to show you this. This is just nothing special. It's the two-pack of the lasagna pans. We use these on Sunday when we're making casseroles, when everybody comes over for dinner. Two-in-a-pack cooking concepts. You know, they're a good size. They're 11 and 3 quarter inches by 9.38 inches by 2.38 inches deep. So they're a good size. And the best thing about these is, sure, you buy in them and you don't use them again, but that's the best part of them. You don't use them again. Throw them away. You don't have to clean them. <sighs> Makes life so much simpler. And the last thing that I picked up, wait, I'm going to get up off my chair because I set, oh, I bet it's over on my bed. Anyways, I'm just going to tell you what it was. It's the long-handled grill scraper, you know, to clean the grill so that uh, when, uh, you know, you barbecuing and stuff, you can clean the grill off before the next time. The last thing I got, it's the same thing, but it's different, if that makes any sense. There are these little letter sets. It has two cards, four letters, and six envelopes, and I'm going to slide this to the side so you can see it. This one says stay sharp, and it's the cactuses, and it comes in, you know, a little snap pouch. This one's green. I don't know if the cards are green. I haven't opened it, but the pouch is green. This one, again, two cards, four letters, and six envelopes. It's in a pink pouch, and it says wow, and this is what the uh, letter paper looks like. It's lined. And this one, the letter paper, is not lined, but it has the little cactuses at the bottom. And the last one I got is the one that says, No Problema. And it's also in a pink case. And again, two cards, four letter sheets, and six envelopes. Is that not so cute? Is that not just darling? And whether I use these or not, my great nieces are going to love these. They'll think they're just wonderful. So I'll be able to give them to them. And there you go. They'll be happy with them. They'll, you know, they got something special. So that was it. That's what I found at the Dollar Tree today. I was not as happy as I would, would have loved to have been. I would have loved to found, like I said, those colored eyeliners, liquid eyeliners. I would have loved to found them. That's not to say I won't find them in the future, that I just didn't find them yet. 
but I was real happy with the Colorista projects and the little uh, portable shopping bags. I really was happy to see those and the colored mascara. Those, I think those will probably be my three favorite things. And then number four, of course, would be the candles because I'm a candle fanatic. Well, anyways, everybody, that's it. That's what I got at the Dollar Tree this time. I'll be going back soon. Who knows when? But, you know, whatever I find, I'm going to bring it and show you, even if it's not something stupid like uh, Brillo pads or whatever, just to show you what I found at my Dollar Tree. Okay, everybody, remember what I always say. When the world's going to hell in a handbasket and you can't control it, don't worry about what everybody else says or what they do. Just worry about you, your family, your friends, the people in your own little circle. Because when it's all said and done, it's not my circus, and they're not my monkeys. Y'all have a real good day now, and we'll see you next time. Bye.